सब्सक्राइब एडम टेक टू गेट न्यू वीडियो नोटिफिकेशन एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस बेल आइकन I guess in this video I am going to discuss about how to create ODBC connection using SQL Server. So add here let's open first control panel. So right add here control panel. Now here after let's go to system and security. And here you can find administrator tool. Now next is right click ODBC data source. And here run as administrator now here auto so we need to click add here add button now here you can find or uh, sql server so this video i am going to uh, show you how to use odbc connection with sql server so sql server it's uh, selected now here after click on finish button so add here you need to give add here data source name so add here I am going to write ODPC add here SQL now here you can write the description and about the server so we need to write add here local host now here after let's click on next button and here you can find with windows NT authentication so you can use add here windows authentication and here this is for SQL Server Authentication So if you click at here Microsoft SQL Server So here you can find two types of authentication So using Windows Authentication You don't need to give any username and password And with SQL Server Authentication So you have to select username and password So I am going to connect with SQL Server Authentication and here this is server name so server name is your pc name or you can write at here at this point so here you can write uh, previously i used local host now here after let's click on connect so it's connecting now now here after let's go to database and here you can find item now here after so here you can find uh, in SQL Server here this is the Adam so add here you can find uh, Adam here and this is the table inside Adam now here after the next is so here login that is SA and here give the password now here after click on next button so add here change the default database so by default it's a selected master if you want then here you can change so i'm going to select add here adam now here after click on next and here english selected encryption no need to change and here save log running queries no need to change here log odbc so it's fine now here after click on finish so here after final step is click on test data source so this is the name and here database Adam and here and here use NC so let's click on test so here I'm getting the message message add here test completed successfully click on ok ok and here after ok now here after the next is so I will check or uh, is the database is created or not so double click there and here I just created one database with the name ODBC Asker. Okay, this I just created. Now, here after, let's go to uh, Microsoft Visual Studio and here I'm going to use ODBC data source. So, for this, we need to go at your tools tab here, connect to database. And here after, connect to database. So, here we need to select Microsoft ODBC data source. Now click on OK. Now here after, so here you can find ODBC SQL. It's a selected. Now here give the username that is SA and here give the password. Now test, click on test. Connected, connection success. Now here after click on OK. So here you can find it's a selected. Now add here this is the table. 
So here you can compare. Uh, so this is the CDC. It's a different change data capture. And here you can compare the tables. So add here inside items or database. So this is the table countries, departments, AMPA, employees, jobs, location there. So this is the use of ODBC for SQL Server. And this is the way we can create ODBC for SQL Server. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.